Unveiling Strong Delusion, Video 26, Jacob. Jacob. This video will identify the secular Jacob in European history. To keep the biblical narrative in order and comprehensible for those not familiar with it, this video will summarize Genesis 25, 26, and 27. Genesis 25, 1 to 6. Genesis 25, 1 to 4 describes Abraham's marriage to Ketura. Ket ur a, Ket u ra, and their children and grandchildren. In Genesis 25, 5, Abraham gave all that he had unto Isaac. In Genesis 25, 6, Abraham gives gifts to the sons of his concubines and sends them away eastward. The Torah does not tell us which way east, towards America or towards the Middle East today, the upside down map or the tabula rojarana. Genesis 25, 7 to 10. Abraham died at the age of 103 score and 15 years, or 176. Genesis 25, 7. Both numbers add to 14, the double Zion. Abraham gave up the ghost, or the ka, or soul. Genesis 25, 8. Abraham's son, I, sons Isaac and Ishmael buried him with Sarah in the church of Nuestra Señora del Día Sol at Malpica de Arba, in the sepulcher he purchased from the sons of Het. Genesis 25, 8-10, or not. Genesis, uh, Abraham's secular role lived on for a few more years. Genesis 25, 11-18. In Genesis 25, 11, the Lord blesses Isaac, and he continues to live in Lahai Roy. Genesis 25, 12 to 18, describes the generations of Ishmael. Ishmael gives up the ghost and dies at the age of 137. Genesis 25, 17. Ishmael's people dwelt from Havilah unto Shur, that is before Egypt, as thou goes towards Assyria, and he died in the presence of all his brethren. Genesis 25:18. Avila, Avila, Spain. Genesis 25:19 to 34. Genesis 25:19 to 34 describes the birth of Esau and Jacob, Isaac's love of Esau and Rebekah's love of Jacob, and Esau's sale of his birthright to Isaac. This video series may return to this complex tale at a later point. Genesis 26, 1 to 5. In Genesis 26, 1, a famine occurs in the land, and Isaac goes to Abimelech, the king of the Philistines in Herar, or Hirona. In Genesis 26, 2, the Lord commands Isaac not to go to Egypt, but to remain in the land. In Genesis 26, 4, the Lord promises Isaac, I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven. This promise is a double entendre or occult sense. Genesis 26, 6 to 11. Isaac dwelt in Harar and grew, grew wealthy. In Genesis 26, 7, Isaac describes Rebekah as his sister to the men of Harar. For he feared to say, she is my wife, lest, said he, the men of the place should kill me for Rebekah, because she was fair to look upon. In Genesis 26, 8 to 11, Abimelech the king learns of this, the, the deceit and commands his men not to touch Rebekah. Genesis 26, 12 to 23. Isaac becomes wealthy and powerful. Genesis 26, 12 to 15. Abimelech orders Isaac to leave. And Abimelech said unto Isaac, Go from us, for thou art much mightier than we. Genesis 26, 16. Isaac moves north to Harar, or Hirona. Genesis 26, 17. Later, he moves north to Beersheba, or Port la Nouvelle, France. Genesis 26, 18 to 23. Genesis 26, 24 to 33. The Lord promises Isaac his seed will multiply. Genesis 26, 24. Isaac builds an altar in Beersheba, or Port la Nouvelle. Genesis 26, 25. 
Isaac and Abimelech swear a pact of peace, Genesis 26, 26 to 31. Genesis 26, 32 to 33 tells another version of naming Beersheba, similar to that in Genesis 21. The little the Torah tells us of Isaac's life seems to duplicate events in Abraham's life. Genesis 26, 34 to 35. And Esau was 40 years old when he took to wife Judith, the daughter of Beri the Hittite, and Basimath, Bashamat, the daughter of Elon the Hittite, which were a grief of mind unto Isaac and to Rebekah. Genesis 26, 34 to 35. Esau married two women from the Basque. Marrying outside the family caused grief to Isaac and Rebekah. Genesis 21, 1 to 37, deception. Rebekah and Jacob deceived the now blind Isaac into giving Esau's blessing to Jacob. Genesis 27, 1 to 29. After Isaac and Esau learn of the deceit, Esau asks Isaac, haven't you reserved any blessing for me? Genesis 27, 36. Isaac answered Esau, I have made him Lord over you and have made all his relatives his servants and, I've, and I have sustained him with grain and new wine. So what can I possibly do for you, my son? Genesis 27, 37. Genesis 27, 38 to 40, Esau's blessing. Esau asked for but one blessing. Genesis 27, 38. His father Isaac answered him, your dwelling will be away from the earth's richness, away from the dew of heaven above. You will live by the sword, and you will serve your brother. But when you grow restless, you will throw his yoke from off your neck. Genesis twenty-seven thirty-nine to 40. Genesis twenty-seven thirty-nine to 40, Everett Fox translation from the Shocken Bible, the five books of Moses. Then Yitzhak, his father, answered, saying to him, Behold, from the fat of the earth must be your dwelling place, from the dew of the heavens above. You will live by your sword, you will serve your brother, but it will be that when you brandish it, you will tear his yoke from your neck. Esau will remove the yoke when he brandishes his sword. Genesis 27, 41 to 46. Esau says he will kill Jacob. Genesis 27, 41. Rebekah tells her beloved son Jacob to flee Esau's wrath to her brother Laban, Genesis 27, 42 to 43. Rebekah tells Jacob to stay with Laban until Esau's fury subsides, Genesis 27, 43 to 44. Rebekah tells Jacob she will send word when Esau's fury subsides, Genesis 27, 45. Genesis 27, 46, Rebekah's disgust. Rebekah the deceiver tells Isaac the deceived, I'm disgusted with living because of, because of these Hittite, Basque women. If Jacob takes a wife from among the women of this land, from Hittite, Basque women like these, my life will not be worth living. Genesis 27, 46. This leads to Jacob's journey to find a wife from the family of Rebekah. Genesis 28, 1 to 5, all in the family. Isaac blesses Jacob and tells him, Do not marry a Canaanite woman. Go at once to Padam Aram, to the house of your mother's father, Betuel. Take a wife from your, for yourself there, from among the daughters of Laban, your mother's brother. Genesis 28, 1 to 2. Isaac sends Jacob off to find a wife from Rebekah's family in the tradition of Genesis. A tradition of incest. Genesis 28, 5. Esau's spite. Overhearing his father and mother, Esau then realized how displeasing the Canaanite women were to his father Isaac. So he went to Ishmael and married Mahalat, the sister of Nebaot, and daughter of Ishmael, son of Abraham, in addition to the wives he already had. Genesis 28, 7 to 9. Jacob's ladder. In Genesis 28, 10 to 22, Jacob dreams of a ladder or stairway to heaven on his route to find a wife from Laban's family. 
erects a pillar and renames the town from Luz to Bethel. This series discussed Jacob's Ladder in Video 8 on Abraham's journey from Haran to Canaan. The dream happened in Bethel, or Bézier, France. Genesis 29 to 31 and the historical Jacob. Genesis 29 to 31 tell the story of Jacob's travels to the east, to the land of Rebekah's brother Laban. For years, Jacob worked for Laban to earn his wives, Rachel and Leah, the daughters of Laban. Jacob becomes wealthy and owns large flocks of sheep. Sheep produce wool, an important source of, source of wealth in the Middle Ages. Clues to identify Jacob. At this point in the narrative, three clues exist to identify the historical Jacob. Jacob dreamed of a ladder. Jacob became a wealthy sheep or wool merchant. Abraham and Jacob descend from the Phoenicians, as we will see in the videos on Milcah, the mother of Rebekah. Phoenicians means Venetians. Many scholars have equated the Phoenicians with the Venetians. The problem of making the connection with confidence arose from the great gap in time between the ancient Phoenicians and the modern Venetians. The strong delusion created this non-existent gap. Veneto, the home of the Venetians or Venetians. Veneto, made up of Verona, Vicenza, Belluno, Treviso, Padova, Rovigo, and Venice, modern Phoenicia. Does one man fit the clues? Can we find an important historical person named Jacob from Phoenicia, Venezia, wealthy in sheep or wool associated with a ladder or staircase? Yes, Jacopo or Jacopino della Scala or of the ladder or staircase, a rich wool merchant in Verona. Jacopino means little Jacob, a term of, term of endearment. Rachel doted on Jacob. Jacopino della Scala. Della Scala means of the ladder or stairway to heaven. Jacopino della Scala's sons and their sons became the rulers of Verona, one of the most important states in medieval Europe. Jacopino became the imperial vicar of Ostiglia, a town between Milano and Mantova. Ostiglia to the southeast of Milano. Teatro alla Scala. Jacopino's descendant, the Empress Maria Teresa of the Habsburg Empire, Empire, built the Teatro alla Scala on the spot of the former church of Santa Maria alla Scala. No opera house in the world enjoys greater fame than the Teatro alla Scala or La Scala. Every opera singer of note throughout history has, has performed at La Scala, Castrati opera singers. Laban, Labano, and Verona. Labano means Laban in Italian. Remember the sounds B and V can interchange, bet or bait, and vet and vet. The town of Lavagno, as in Lavan or Laban, lies about 12 kilometers or seven miles east of Verona. Lavagno, near Verona and near Lake Garda, or Lago di Garda. U.S. military in Verona. As with Moses and Mount Pisgah, the United States military had an important base in Verona, Caserma Pasalacqua, the headquarters of CTAF, South European Task Force. Pesquiera del Garda. The U.S. military had its own movie operation at Pesquiera del Garda. The Italian film producer Agostino Dino de Laurentiis donated pirate-type ships to the U.S. military operation at Pesquiera. Pesquiera, at the southern tip of the Lake Garda, the largest lake in Italy. Sharon Tate, Verona, and Psyops. Paul Tate, the father of Sharon Tate, the non-victim of the government construct Charles Mann's son, or son of Mann, served in Verona. 
Many actors have played the roles of Charles Mann's son on TV. Real criminals do not go on TV, much less on CBS News Nightwatch with Charlie Rose. Sharon Tate, Verona, and Psyops. Sharon Tate got her first film experience in Pesquera as an extra in U.S. military-controlled B-movies. The deceivers mock the slaves with trauma-based mind control, with fake mass murderers like Charles Manson and fake serial killers like Ted Bundy and Jeffrey Dahmer. The mainstream media peddles fear, 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 and the slaves believe it. Shakespeare and Venetians, The Merchant of Venice, Much Ado About Nothing in Padova, Otello in Venice, Romeo and Juliet in Verona, The Taming of the Shrew, Padova and Verona, Two Gentlemen of Verona. Coincidence? Josephus Justus Scaliger. Josephus Justus Scaliger, 1540-1609, who lived at the same time as Shakespeare, 1564-1616, triple seven, and at the same time as the writing of the King James Version of the Bible, descended from Jacopino della Scala, or Jacopino della Scala. The Warburg Institute has collated a catalog of Scaliger's works and letters. Josephus Justus Scaliger. Scaliger played a large role in the strong delusion. Anatoly Fomenko has written extensively about Scaliger's role in the strong delusion, although Fomenko does not call it the strong delusion. Scaliger played many important roles in the strong delusions. The videos will see him again later. Scaliger and colleagues. Scaliger had many, many intellectual colleagues, as his letters show. Born in Agen, in Lot et Garonne, a place we have seen, he traveled all over Europe and met many of the most important intellectuals of his time. He lived in England at the time of the writing of the King James Bible. Venetians in England. Some scholars, such as Webster G. Tarpley, say the Venetians and their banking system took control of England between the 12th and 17th centuries. Thank you for watching. The author must take time away from making these videos. In a week or two from today, 13 April 2018, the author will return to making the videos. The author has not decided where to pick up again, perhaps with Milka, the mother of Rebecca. Permission to copy and translate. The author permits any human being to copy and rebroadcast this video in whole or in part. The author permits any human being to translate this video into any language.